Mit DAD sitzen wir ja am Rhein-Herne-Kanal. Um, ja. When uh, you started your band in the 80s, what kind of uh, music scene was it in, in Denmark right then? Well, uh, of course it was pretty mixed, but uh, we were very much interested in the whole punk scene. So we were very much, um, we, we were actually on, on our way from um, do, doing a lot of skateboarding, going into uh, uh, the probe realm and uh, do, doing some punk rock. So we were trying to learn to play along with a lot of other young people in Copenhagen and I think maybe in the rest of the world. Mm. Eine Subkultur. But uh, I heard or read somewhere that uh, DAD was found as kind of a, a protest against uh, the punks. But why was there a protest? We were uh, like uh, we were in the punk movement, but the punk movement was very dark and depressive, and we were just happy kids growing up in uh, Copenhagen, skateboarding and having uh, a party. So uh, we we brought the, the the joy into the music actually, and the the punks loved it. So yeah, they showed up and had a party. Yeah. And uh, who inspired you, music-wise or show-wise? Oh, a lot of people. I mean, music-wise, and there was a band called The Gun Club that we enjoyed a lot. But also, I think that maybe uh, the Ramones had this kind of joy and a, a pop element or romantic element, maybe even that uh, that we, you know, tacked onto. But I think that mainly we try to find our own style. So uh, when we started out, we uh, the style that we played, we called it cow punk, which was a little ding ding dong ding 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 dong, but played very fast. And so how did you uh, find this uh, word cow punk? Why cow? I mean, it was because we, we I don't know, uh, looking back on it now, I think we were looking for roots. We were trying to find some kind of uh, maybe blues roots or country roots or whatever. But I, I think that uh, back then we just thought that uh, country and western was the most ridiculous form of music you could, that you could ever think of. So why not make fun of that and, 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 and throw it into the punk machinery? And uh, what inspired the whole visual thing of DAD? I think it's, it's just something that comes along with the music and the desire to, to make a great uh, performance. When we, we are rock fans, but we want to see something happening on stage. And we just we can't hold it back, you know, it just comes all the time. And where do you get your uh, inspiration? Oh, the stage. Well, you know, dreams. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think maybe that's Bad sleep uh, and uh, and beers, hangovers. Uh, yeah, I think that maybe. I mean, if we've got some kind of uh, creative juice going, I think stuff like that pops up. I mean, for the last 20 years, we've had this feeling. Ah, wow, that was a great idea. I, th I'm sure we're never gonna top that idea. And then suddenly a new idea pops up. I think that's we just have to be thankful. You know, it's it's good. How did uh, this idea for the drums that are rising start? Mm, I, I th we're just hanging around f thinking about what are we going to do? And even now we got an even better idea. So this, the, 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 the drum rise as it really is, is actually already an old idea. Mm. Have a look and come back next year. I have a last question. You are brothers, mm -hmm. and uh, very often it happens that brothers can be best friends, but they can also fight and hate each mm -hmm. other. So, what about you both? I think that we are more or less what you in Denmark call pseudo twinlinger, pseudo twins. So, we are more or less twins because there's only 14 months between us. So, um, I mean, one is not more clever than the other. Maybe that's the reason that we can you get along fine.